In this series we're creating a lovely landscape with a fly through that will look something like this in the end. In this episode we're going to actually create the fly through. So in the last video uh, we added some nice lighting to our terrain and it's starting to look really quite nice and so now would be a good time to create a fly through for this uh, scene. To do this we're going to use another procedural worlds asset called Pegasus. Uh, and this is really good for creating fly throughs and cutscenes and so on and really simple to use. So let's go back to our scene view and we're going to fly through the scene uh, and, and look at uh, there's a farm and, and maybe see if we can find some interesting stuff. We're not going to worry too much about making it perfect yet. We can tweak and play with it later. So the first thing that I want to do is right click in our hierarchy and click Pegasus add Pegasus capture. Now we'll add this piece of software here that by default will track the main camera which is our fly cam here uh, and allow us to capture particular views from that camera. So I'm hitting play and in a moment it will start up and we see this reticule here and we see some instructions to hit P to create a POI. So we're going to start here, a POI is point of interest. So hit P then we're going to go and fly through this terrain uh, and find something of interest. Let's look over there. That kind of looks nice. Hit P and fly forward. Okay, and we'll finish under the water. So now I hit stop. And there's a couple of things I want to do here. Uh, first of all, click Create Pegasus. And so all I've done is recorded the points on that path. Now I've created an actual fly through, and you can see it in the scene view here. Um, the other thing I want to do, that's created a, a Pegasus manager. I want to just change the speed of uh, that, that uh, fly through because I tend to find this is a bit slow for when I'm actually developing. So I'm going to put that up to maybe 40 meters per second and click set speed. It's going to change the speed across the whole thing. I'm going to turn off the Pegasus capture and I'm going to press play. What we should get now is an automated fly through. Now I can fine tune this fly through, so I wouldn't want to go through the middle of that tree. I definitely want to slow down around there. It didn't quite do the fly along that I wanted. Um, that looks okay. Oops, that went under, I'll have to fix that. And fly out to our lake. So as you can see, there's quite a big difference between what we have at the end of this video and what we expect to have at the end of the scene, which we can see right now. So in the next video, we're going to do some work with the textures on the terrain, make those look a bit more natural and a bit more beautiful. See you soon.